and it's our big story, and it's about one piece of video. Now, normally when I say something like that, we get right into the video and we roll it, but we're not gonna do that, not tonight, at least not with this story, because we wanna give you time to change the channel if you want. It might be too tough for some people to watch. It's video that shows the moments leading up to and the moment that deputy shot and killed a young black man in Clark County. Now, let's be clear, no matter what you think about this video, the story itself is all around tragic. Someone is dead, his name was Kevin Peterson Jr. He had people who loved him, and those people, his family, are still sticking by him as family often does in these situations and they show they say that the video shows him being hunted trapped and killed while investigators say it shows exactly why he did die pulling a gun on deputies here's Maggie Vespa shots fired, shots fired. dispatch audio drone video and surveillance footage from multiple cameras all of it compiled and released Wednesday by a team of independent investigators to show they say the moments before Kevin Peterson Jr was killed. Could have been any of us, and it's just sad that it's happened. The 21-year-old from Camas died on October 29th in the parking lot of a U.S. bank in Hazel Dell. Investigators said he was there to sell Xanax, unaware the buyer had tipped off law enforcement. They say Peterson arrived around 5.50 by 6. Deputies with the Clark County Sheriff's Office would shoot and kill him. The next day, the sheriff said this about why. The information I have is that upon entering the parking lot of the bank, the man repeatedly, reportedly fired his weapon at the deputies. A team of investigators from other agencies across the state later walked that back, saying there was no evidence Peterson had fired at law enforcement. Clark County deputies do not wear body cameras. Wednesday's video offers new clarity. He's running. The 11 minute clip starts with a photo of Peterson obtained investigators say by law enforcement before the shooting. In the text over it, Peterson says he will feed the law if caught with emojis of a cop and a gun. Investigators say deputies saw this as a general threat. Minutes later, deputies in unmarked vehicles block in Peterson's car. He gets out and runs, putting his hand in his pocket. He runs off camera, and that's when, according to graphics in the video, deputies see Peterson drop a gun and pick it back up. Hey, stop. Do not chase him around the corner. According to the video, Peterson gets away for a couple minutes, walking here around the east side of the bank before encountering law enforcement again. While running, again off camera, they say Peterson pointed his gun at deputies. One deputy fired. Here, Peterson runs back on camera again and falls. We'll pause here for a couple seconds because it's important to note the video does not say whether Peterson fell because he was shot or if he tripped. He then appears to sit up and point something at deputies. Investigators say that is his gun, and they highlight that in the video, which we're freezing here. Moments later, you see Peterson slump to the ground. In total, deputies fired 34 rounds, four of which hit Peterson. A drone from law enforcement shows deputies rendering aid. Peterson died at the scene. The family of Kevin Peterson Jr. is being represented by civil rights attorney Ben Crump. Crump also represents the family of George Floyd. Wednesday, via Crump's office, the family released a statement. Peterson's father, Kevin Peterson Sr., zeroing in on the moment his son fell, believes he was shot as he ran away. He wrote, the sheriff and others lied when they said Kevin shot at officers. Now we see the video and Kevin's back was toward the officers, but they shot him anyway. They chased him down, trapped him, and killed him. Again, the video does not say why Peterson fell. We've reached out to investigators for clarification. The case is now headed to prosecutors for review. Maggie Vespa, KGW News. Now, our regular viewers on the story, you know that we're all about transparency on this, transparency on this show. That video is embedded in that story at KGW.com. You can head there yourself right now and check it out if you'd like to watch again and make your own assumptions on what you're seeing there.